Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Viruses and MBKRM SKUs for 2021 paper. Question number one, which of the following is common in animal viruses but not in bacteriophages? Animal viruses, they have usually enveloped and it is not found among phages. Viruses completely non-living is a wrong statement. Cellular organism, no. One of the viticus classification, no. But they are inert crystalline structures outside the living cells and they behave as living cells, on living structures only within the cells. It's a false statement for viruses. That viruses contain DNA and RNA at the same time. It's a wrong statement, so alpha. They may have DNA or RNA at a time. The character that makes retroviruses different from other groups of viruses is their reverse transcriptase enzyme. Otherwise, you may have other spherical nature viruses or having DNA, RNA genome or host specificity. Viruses may not replicate in the blood plasma as they require a definite cell to replicate. They are obligate intracellular parasites. In prions, information is carried further through proteins only, beta. They are protein infectious particles only. And which of the following is, are found in all viruses? All viruses must have protein and nucleic acid. Nucleic acid is the only component of the viroid as they are made up of RNA only. While proteins, uh, prions, they are having protein only and virion or virus, they are having protein plus RNA. It's an example of RNA enveloped virus, that is HAV, having RNA as well as without envelope. The component responsible for the determination of shape of the virus is protein subunit or capsomere, uh, which have 162 capsomeres in the herpes virus and 252 in the capsid of adenovirus. And the number of capsomeres is characteristic of a particular virus that is made of protein subunits known as capsomeres and capsid ultimately gives the proper shape to the virus particle. Viruses are classified on the basis of their morphology as well as nucleic acid properties. Physiology is not uh, a concern of classification. It's a disease caused by DNA enveloped virus that is smallpox and major cells that are infected by HIV are helper T lymphocytes. While it acts as a template strand for the reverse transcriptase, it's viral RNA, which is transcribed literally or later on into double stranded DNA for incorporation. The phenomenon of transcription in HIV life cycle occurs within the nucleus, while reverse transcription takes place within the cytoplasm. Attachment of HIV DNA with host DNA is done via the action of integrase enzyme, while uh, for the incorporation of viral coded DNA into the host DNA, integrase enzyme is responsible for this action. And HIV can be transmitted by all of the following sources except saliva, because common sources for the dispersal of AIDS are blood, transfusion, or sexual contact, and air, water, saliva, sweat, tears, insects or pets, or sharing common food or drinks or toilets is not responsible for the dispersal of HIV. So uncoating of HIV virion occurs within the cytoplasm, as you can see over here, that after attachment, capsid incorporates into the host cell and uncoats in within the cytoplasm. Number 19, given below is the diagram of a bacteriophage in which one of the following option, all four parts are correct. And you know, alpha is a capsid, charlie is a collar, beta is a shed protein and delta is tail fiber. So right option is charlie, head, collar, shed, base plate and long tail fibers. Which of the following step in life cycle of HIV occurs in cytoplasm of the helper T lymphocyte? It's translation, otherwise adsorption takes place at the cell membrane, integration and transcription, they are the events which are occurring within the nucleus. But translation, it takes place within the cytoplasm of host cell. 
The first virus obtained in crystallite form was Tobacco mosaic virus by W.M. Stanley. And one of the following in HIV is not encoded by viral genome, that is viral envelope. It is absorbed or taken by host plasma membrane. Number 23, reverse transcriptase is RNA dependent, DNA polymerase, delta. And in viruses, a combined structure formed by core nucleic acid and capsid is nucleocapsid. Lysogenic viruses are also known as avirulent phages or prophages because they form prophages in the incorporated form. And which one of the following is not true about human immunodeficiency virus? It's a retrovirus. Yes, it's surrounded by an envelope. Yes, it has. It does not cause AIDS. It's a wrong statement. It was a question from NMDCAT 2020 paper. Which one of the following is related to enveloped viruses? Enveloped viruses, uh, they survive for a shorter time, but the envelope is sensitive to sunlight as well, and envelopes are derived from the host, are right statement, but they are tolerant to antibodies, is not a right statement over here. Numerous opportunistic diseases might attack person suffering from which of the following disease, that is AIDS, and the complete mature and infectious virus particle is known as virion. While which of the following helps in attachment of HIV to the host surface, they are enveloped spikes, which are responsible for the attachment of these structures. So that was all about viruses.